wrong and say I'm sorry. I never knew that this type of thing can be possible. I just thought that we should hold tight the little we have mm. and that preaching should not change us. But this is a mixed religion. She confessed and repented. That man now I'm speaking is a heavy civil engineering contractor. He's a multi millionaire. He has his own capabilities and equipment. You see, loving the Lord brings to your life supernatural miracles that your sense cannot comprehend. It is the key of enjoying those supernatural flow. You must repair your love. You must refortify your love for Christ. It is very important. Number three. Loving Jesus means to fix your heart in Christ and not be toast to and fro. To fix your heart in Christ and not be tossed to and fro. You know, I was to be the governor of River State in 2007. I have already drawn the list of my commissions and I have already finished with the ruling party and the President of the Federal Republic. And we have already finished meeting an underground suite in Abuja and have been handed over to the, to the national body that is going to implement it in two weeks. While I have drawn the list of my commissionership, just waiting for the announcement, on a Saturday, they sent me a charter flight to the International Airport Abuja and called me that there is a plane waiting to pick me and fly me to Lagos. I said, for what? They said, the Occult Grand Masters are having a solo fix. And I have to come there for an introduction as the new governor to be in charge of River State. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I am a consecrated bishop. I don't know where comfortable I'm being meeting. So that plane packed there till the next day. I didn't go. The next Saturday, they sent another charter flight and said, I must come this time around. I told them, sorry, I don't know to where coach people are being meeting. Light and darkness have no communion. On the third Saturday, they told me that the President of the Federal Republic was going to be in this next session. The Chief Judge of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was going to be there. And I cannot dishonor them that all they wanted to do was only to introduce me as a new governor that would take over River State the following months. I said, oh, introduction. I do not need introduction in Nigeria. I'm a leading lawyer. I'm an author of 47 books circulating in at least 17 universities in Africa. I own a university in Nigeria, and now I have a license for another university, Richland University of Science and Technology, which I hope will start admitting people in 2014. So why do I need introduction? I do not need introduction. I do not come to call people to be introduced. I cannot come to be introduced to court rooms. Then they said to me, in that case, we will block you. We will not allow you to be the governor of the state. Because we were controlling the power before a non-expediency every sector felt that you are the person to be able to recognize the state. But now that you cannot compromise, we will block it. On the fourth Saturday, they called me by 3 a.m. and said, we are now in the Santo Sanctuary, and the Chief Grandmaster of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said, 
There is the seal of the righteous one on you, and you will never compromise. But however, we will surprise you in 28 days. But we can only stop you now. We can't stop you again after now. And they cut the foot. 28 days later, they gave that controversial judgment, announcing somebody that didn't contest election to be the governor of Freeman State. They did that to show me that they had control of the system. And I told them that I damned the consequence. I can't betray my destiny. I can't betray my crown because I'm going to preside over 500 billion every 30 days. It doesn't matter. And I kept my faith. And everybody was shocked that I could keep my faith. Then I was appointed special advisor to the president of the Federal Republic, Yaradua. And I went, they gave me accommodation, asked me to nominate my personal assistant. I nominated, they cleared on the paper. The day they want to announce the thing, the court grandmaster came again and said, Innocent Inc. is anointed, is of the righteous one, we will block it. And then the sex man came and said, What is my problem with the court masters in Nigeria? I said, I don't want to compromise. They are going to hell. I am going to hell. They said, That is the problem with you. You are too straight. You have to bend small. Now, the point I'm making is that if you love Jesus, your heart has to be fixed. What did I say? Your heart has to be fixed in him. You should not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Your heart should be fixed. David said, my heart is fixed in my God. I shall not fear man. What shall God do unto me? For my heart is fixed in the Lord. When your heart is fixed, it means you have decided that you are on the Lord's side.